morning and welcome back to another video in this video we're gonna harvest and we're gonna show you also how we're gonna store our carrots and after we I'm also gonna make a carrot cake but let's first harvest the carrots we're gonna store them in this plastic container originally we wanted to make a wooden one a nice one but then we thought that we don't want our carrots to be eaten by mouses so the safest way to do it is with this plastic one it will last us few harvests and if we don't use it for carrots we can always use it for grains and we're gonna put inside peat i think that's how you call it not peat the guy peat but this peat so we're gonna put a small layer on the bottom pretty much we're gonna cover the carrots we're gonna put like bed <laughs> we're gonna put a small layer on the bottom and we're gonna put some carrots that's how our neighbors do it I don't know how you do it, if you have carrots or if you're harvesting carrots, which way you do it. Yeah, a lot of people leave them in the ground, but it's a bit annoying to get all Leave the them in here. the ground and cover them with... Uh, cover them with uh, hay, right? Or yeah. with peat. Okay. Because last year we really messed up, we just put them as they were and they all got dried up. Because peat is helping them. Peat is a good boy. Is that enough? I think that's a good enough bottom layer. So let's get our first carrots. They're not the biggest carrots because of the heat, but I think that's a nice average size. Also for eating, you don't want too big ones. Oh, well, that's a bit too small. <laughs> that's a nice carrot. I'm not sure how close up or like how tied up they need to be, but I think that's a good distance. <laughs> What is that, Popo? -po? I actually liked it. It's a bit hard to bite. You're perfect like in a kid's book you get a card like that. So that's quite a bit of carrots that we got here and we still have one more line to go but did you see this one carrot over here? Wait, that's a really nice carrot. That's one of our biggest, I think that's our biggest carrot that we got.
So one more line, one more handful of carrots we have to do. Those are beautiful carrots. And we're done. We're not even halfway in the barrel, so maybe we could have stacked it a bit more. The peat. Here. <laughs> the peat. We, Peter could have gone a bit higher. A bit higher, but we didn't know. We were scared. We were scared that there was more than this barrel. We were scared we need another one. So much better we did than last year. If you remember our cards last year, they were like... Wait, wait. That was our biggest card last year. And you saw the card we got this year. So we're doing good. We're improving. We're improving. That's, that's what matters. And this year we're also going to store them correctly. So we will actually eat them this year. I'm really happy. You can't imagine how excited I am. Carrots. We did not even fill half of it, so maybe we need to grow a bit more carrots because I think that's not gonna last long, maybe till January. Yeah, the problem is that you have to sort them out, so you lose quite a carrot. Yeah. So we know for next year. Next year, plant way more lines. Double the lines. Yeah. To get double the carrots. Very good. Carrots are very tasty and healthy. The greens we have collected, obviously we're gonna give it to our goats and sheep. And we also have some carrots that are not the best to eat now or to put inside because they're cracked or they are quite small. I mean, that is still eatable, but it's okay. They can enjoy it because we have enough carrots and we have more than enough collected there in the side carrots we will eat now. So let's bring that to the goaties. For some reason, they don't like the cards. They just eat around it, but not the cards. They just eat the green. What are girlies? I give you so many carrots. So, these are carrots that did not go for the winter. We have to eat all of them now. Well, not in this now. In nice now. old school cup. Yeah. Okay, let's carry this big bad boy down. Okay. Do you think we're gonna carry it together? Where's the handle? Wait, wait, where's the handle? Okay. I think that's fair. Yeah, handle could be a bit better. harvested the carrots it's time for me to share one of my favorite carrot slash apple cake recipes from our own carrots and our own apples and our own eggs so let's get started with the recipe I'm gonna show you what I have but I'm gonna have the recipe linked down below because I don't remember the amounts correctly I'm gonna start it by the order we will be mixing it so we have butter which is gonna go together with the sugar then we're gonna add one egg at a time we'll have four eggs and then we have roughly 100 grams mixed walnuts with a bit of chocolate if you want chocolate if not then you can also use less nuts nuts or you if you don't like nuts don't use nuts and we also have flour we are not going to use all of these apples i just took some more because i have some bumps and i'm going to just cut them really rough because our people is like apples and uh, three carrots i think roughly that size should be okay 
and then we also have lemon for the carrots and apples so they don't turn brown we have some cinnamon we have some ginger powder and we have some clove powder it's really important for that cake to make it autumny and nice is it really important to have a good amount of spices just to make it really autumny feeling so let's get started by mixing i actually wanted to make it electricity free video but yeah my hand is hurting too much from cement mix not mixing but doing cement walls for the goat house if you have seen it so i'm gonna use a mixer but i'm gonna use a hand drift so let's get started the batter needs to be quite soft. I don't know if this cooled down now while we were outside, but it needs to be soft. So now we have added the cinnamon, the cloth, and the ginger powder, and we're gonna mix it again. The only problem with cooking outside is the temperature problem. And as you can see my batter, yeah, that's not the best. Because it is cold outside, cold enough for the butter to harden again, so it looks really disgusting. Might need to bring that inside. God damn it. I have decided we're just gonna leave it as it is. Anyways, the butter will eventually melt, so if you're doing that at home, don't worry, the recipe will probably work because your house is warmer than 15 degrees that we have outside. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add now the nuts. Don't worry, that's the chocolate. <laughs> that's why it looks a bit weird. And here I forgot to say, I also put baking powder, so like a teaspoon of baking powder. I mix it all together, so now it can go inside. Just carrots. You should have preheated your oven on 180 or 350 Fahrenheit and we're gonna cook it for about, I think, close to an hour. It tastes amazing, I hope the texture will be fine just because of the cold, but we are enjoying the last warm-ish day because we're gonna get a lot of rain after that, so I wanted to make that cake. And uh, you can also make this cake in any type of form. It's just gonna get either super small or much fatter. Like in this one, I'm gonna get like quite a cake form. And I also have made it in a more flat tray and becomes more like cake bars. But uh, yeah, let's get it inside. What do you think, Evie? It's just a hot mess of what we have done. <laughs> but that's how we are. We're not perfect and mosquitoes are biting. Let's go.
as you can see we have the next morning and I already have tried and it tastes really really good even though the batter did not look proper <laughs> it still worked out perfectly fine and it tastes really good I love the taste of nut and you can feel a bit of the ginger and the cinnamon so it's really nice and with my view of the pumpkins <laughs> it feels really odd to me so yeah we're not gonna add anything on top I know a lot of people like to put buttercream or chocolate maybe but we're not gonna put anything just because we don't like it so sweet so we're gonna keep it plain and David and me we don't like buttercream so much we don't want, like to over flood it with uh, something on top we could put powdered sugar just for the look but we just like the way it tastes as it is already simple as that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope the chaotic recipe of making the cake was not that messy but I guess that's how we are so I hope you enjoyed and we're gonna see you next time back at work probably Bye-bye.